Gluten Doll. Today I'll be reading a book for Halloween. The Scary Godmother. So yeah, it's based on a book. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was probably the most exceptional Halloween night ever. The warm wind smelled softly, burned jack o lantern dry leaves pushing clouds across the rippling darkness sky all made Hannah Marie excited and impatient. It's almost dark. You said they'll be here. When it got dark? Tonight was the first night when Hannah would go trick or treat and her parents. She was going to go with a big kid. Her grandmother helped made her fairy got her fairy costume, her fairy costume with a tutu and wings. She even had a plastic pumpkin to hold her treats. And she said, It's almost dark. You said they'll be here. When it, when it got dark. Hannah was afraid of monsters, especially tonight. She was worried that they would try to get her while well, she was trick-or-treating. Monsters around Halloween. Are you excited to get outside with all the monsters running? Nice horror. Nice, honey. You scared your daughter before she gets out. I just want her to be careful. Besides, I got something to fan off monsters. Here you go, honey. Monsters can't stand flashlights. <coughs> Just then, doorbell ring in the her older cousin Jimmy and, his, and her friend and his friends, Darren, Bert, and Katie. There, I mean. They had come take a trick or treat with them, and no monster would dare touch her as long as they were with her cousin. He was just as big and scrappy. Is Hannah ready? Curfew was set before Hannah was only allowed to leave. Now, Jimmy, you make sure Hannah comes at eight o'clock at home. Don't worry, sweetie. If you get frightened, you your scary godmother will protect you. And Hannah kissed kissed her daughter and dad goodbye. I mean, Hannah kissed her mother and dad said goodbye. He ran down the sidewalk after the older kids. Her first Halloween was as a big kid had begun. Jimmy whispered to his friends so Hannah and parents couldn't hear. Eight o'clock? That's too early. Hannah's legs were much shorter than the other kids and she had to run sometimes to keep up with them. Big kids stopped many times to wait for her. Wait, your cousin. She's way behind. Jimmy wished his cousin wasn't with them. The trick, the treating, down the whole block. At the hour, at the house, after house, their neighbor and my costumes loaded bags with goodies. I didn't want to bring the baby in the first place. My mom made me. She's showing us down so much. We'll never get out of the house before we have to go home. Hard for him to get up and down the stairs. Daryl and Bert. And Katie stopped to help her. No, Jimmy, not Jimmy, though. He just stood there by himself and grumbled. Suddenly, an idea popped in his head. A nasty idea. A mean, nasty, selfish, devilish idea. If Hannah got, if Anna got scared and go home, it wouldn't be your idea. I wouldn't get in any trouble. Then, it would be better free a million more houses to get Brazilians more pieces of candy. While they marched onward, Jimmy filled the other end's plans for Hannah. She followed behind, unaware of the very rat trick that was about to be played. So, so then, she wants to go home and we can get more candy. You want more candy, don't you? I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah. Soon, they were walking down the street. And I had, I had never been out before. She thought about using her flashlight, but she trusted Jimmy and figured he would protect her. Further down the mysterious street, they passed an old cemetery. Hannah was sure he saw a monster behind the weeds. Well, let me look if there's a monster behind the weeds. Nope, I don't see one. <laughs> Monsters, even through her head, was telling her to go home. Her feet raced towards the pieces, piles of leaves, and down the crooked street sidewalk to catch up with the others. She finally caught up and in the end of the street and dead end. And Jimmy, no, <laughs> being mean and nasty, and the others were peering around the big old tree, the creepiest house she's ever seen. Why have they stopped here? All the places.
Jimmy made up a story he shared an old he shared an old frighten his cousin all the way back home. We are going inside the spook house. Come on. You know why the house is for sale. Here you go, a Halloween night. Just like tonight, the people would live here and forget to leave candy for the hungry monsters. So the monsters came up from behind from the basement and ate the, them. So now Every year, the new kid has to leave candy in the basement to keep the monsters from eating everyone in the world! Ha ha ha! This is full of baloney as well as my movie. Guess who's the new kid? Thinking she's going to be waiting for the trick or treat to be working. So everyone's surprised. We're not really going to that house. Are we, Jimmy? Of course not! Bert, my man, I just said that to scare her. The baby turned and run home. Then we get to stay out late and get more candy. Okay, smart guy. Now what your cousin just went into this book house. Everyone was surprised he went into this book house. What? said Jimmy with a frightened face. I can't believe it. She went in. Now what we're gonna do? You you're gonna help me really scare her. They tiptoed through the dark, dusty house. Jimmy pointed an imaginary monster among the unique antiques and other places and played around. Hannah, look, there's the owner's ghost in the dining room. Ooh, don't be, don't be eaten up like us. Leave the candy, it's your only hope. Hurry, I hear the skeletons right in the closet. Hannah's belly button bubbled with fear as she followed her deeper and deeper into the house. She never knew being a big kid was so scary. Once she left some candy in the steps, could leave. However, like they are squeaking, they sent the bats out on us. Run before they get tangled in your hair. Hannah, open up the door and give the monsters candy. We'll be outside behind you, they said with glee. The monsters in the basement, honey, closed their eyes and threw the candy down in the long door. When she opened her eyes, she found herself alone in the dark and with the monsters. The kids were gone, and Hannah had, go and Hannah had gobbled them up. But why? She had given them the candy. She started to cry. She tried to be brave, but she couldn't hold it longer. Aww, poor little Hannah. She was Then suddenly out of darkness came the sound of sobbing, much more loud than her own. Why would anyone be crying over the little girl left in his book house? And I choked her tears inside to find out. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Why, baby, are you crying? Because I like the sound of boo. Boo hoo boo. <laughs> Hannah Marie, I'm your scary godmother. I'm here because you needed me. So the witch lady bent down and left. She excited her hand and smiled on her. What's the scary godmother? Hannah Ann shook her hand, thing wiggling in front of her. A scary godma loves the dark and creepy and unusual. Unusual, I mean. We pop we pop in when it's scary, and we're always with you on Halloween. I'm the Spook Ambassador, and I'm here to introduce you to all the things that go bump in the night. Now, what were you so scared of that made you cry? Monsters! <laughs> With a big laugh from the great smile, Hannah's scary godmother flapped her little bat wings and whisked her up in the annex stairs, top of the house. Monsters? <laughs> Why, some of them are my best friend, are monsters. Come on, I'll introduce you. The scary bun and scary godmother knock, knock, knock on the eyes go. Wait a minute, no one in the attic, did they? It's polite to knock first. They might be sneezing, the abbot sense and at the home. Bats, we had better seize a dog and bat will bite you. No, they're bats. <laughs> hey, fellas, why are you doing just hanging around? I'd like for you to meet my new friend, Hannah. Please don't tingle my hair. What you talking about, Hannah? A bird says that bird would tingle my hair. Oh, yeah, that's he knows after any bats. Um, a baseball bat? Huh. <laughs> There are over 900 variations of us. There's the horseshoe bat, the fruit bat, very foxy, and the long-eared bat. We love to eat insects. Uh, or fruit. Mmm, fruit. Only the South American vampires feed on blood. Yucky. 
By using a terrible radar, we have avoided flying to things in the dark in your hair. I see. Having learned a bit of the bat, the scary godmother flew Hannah down the stairs. When she began to knock, knock, knock on the closet door, who could she look for? I know he's in one of these patterns. He promised he would be here. Said something about doing some decorating. Some skeleton trucked out of the room behind them. It was Skelly Pettibone, a friend of Scare Godmother. He works in the class of all the old houses, keeping his secrets occasionally rattling around. He sings the bone song. You know, Hannah jumped up and down the bed. The laughter awoke Boozo, the scary ghost godmother's cat, who rose out from the bed and sees what comment all about. And before she knew it, Hannah Marie was a little girl who was no longer afraid of bad ghosts or crooked ghosts. The gruff voice piped up from the hideous vents. Hey, who's going to party without me? Heaven forbid it wouldn't be a party without you here. I'm going to go to the basement. Sure is the dark. Sure it is. Dank and musty and mosty too. It is, isn't it wonderful? From the darkness under the stairs, glitter knives popped out at once. Bugaboo, come out. I'd like to meet, to meet somebody. This is Hannah Marie. She's a scary princess. A monster with horns and fur and claws stumbled into the dim light of the basement. Yellow eyes glistened and absorbed Hannah. Why, toothy smell cut in front of grin. Really? Well, any friend scary is a friend of mine. That's scary. And this guy got a better special. He was a bit more toony. But in this one, he's a bit more scary. I love Halloween. <laughs> Remember what Jimmy had told her? Hannah reached into her jack o' lantern and pulled out a candy bar and offered it to the beast. I have not just like candy. This is for you. Well, aren't you sweet? I work my talents to the bone to be the biggest creeper's monster. I can be in there, and this is the first time anybody has given me something all this hard work. I heard those I heard those kids outside laughing about how they tricked you. It's just any right. They thought they would ditched you. Oh, wait. Sorry. They thought that if they ditched you, you could be a boy candy, but now they're too scared to do anything. The big kids have secrets? Oh yeah, I know everything and they're scared of. How do you know that? You're kidding, it's my job. Guys like me spend a lot of nights. Under the bed and porches. It looks like Daryl's afraid of dark. And Katie's afraid of worms. Yep. And Daryl's afraid of clowns, which is normal. I have a fear of clowns like you know it. I can't have a clown. Ooh, no. The only clown I like is Ron McDonald, and that's really it. But the other clowns, forget about. And in the closets, and oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's afraid of heights. Thought so. You might say I know the secret things that everyone's afraid of. And right now, it's not a secret. Those kids are afraid of being punished. Listen, why did I listen to you? I'm going to get grounded. I can't believe we left that baby in a spook house. My mom's going to wipe my butt. This is pathetic. You guys are so biggest babies than Hannah. Come on. We'll just go back in and get her. Jesus, she probably doesn't even know we left. Here they come, scary godmother. Well, I think it's time we teach them a lesson. Here's the plan. With the really creep back into the house. Also, I would like to point out that in the movie, we get to see the meet the vampire family, but we don't get to see them until the next story. So, yeah. Only the boogeyman, Skelly, and, of course, the witch is only in this part. <laughs> the really creepy back into the house, unaware of the skeleton presence, was spying them. Grumble, grumble, grumble. It's really kind of spooky in here. Skelly Pedal Bones chattered his bone with all the musical free might he could muster. Eek! They scrambled away.
They scrambled away from the creature, bony grass, but rather closer and closer. Go, 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 go! Out the window! Too late, a great ghostly beast to set out, meow! Blocking their way. They had no choice but to run deep into the house. The squad and a bat dove them into the living, closing their eyes, clambering, laughing in the kitchen. Bats creepily squeezing in laughter. Hurry! You pretty. You have pretty hair. I want to tangle it. Corner. This was it. They were nothing left to go but the basement. Hide! Door slammed shut. Now they were alone in the dark. Oh, well, it looks like we're safe. Uh huh. Guess so. Then there was a rumbling noise the ground, deep in the throat, sweeping out in the inky darkness. They felt a breezy drift. Oh, steamy, hot breath, huffing and puffing, down in their necks. Then they ran. There really was a monster in the basement! It was coming from the room, licking their thick lips, barely, barely teeth. Yum, yum, eat them up. Eat Daryl, he looks like candy. What? Hey! Suddenly the monster screamed, not like a flash, like, oh, it hurts. It wiggled and jiggled and tried to escape the brightness of the world. Oh, the pain, the pain, the poof of fairness. Puff of smoke. Pew. They were saved. What brave-hearted hero had fasted to tortured? A police? A parrot? For sure. Looking upstairs, what they saw. Jimmy was so scared, he trembled up the stairs over the others. Hannah saved us. Hurry, out, let's go, get out of here, the monsters, yeah, hey. Jimmy was so scared, he trembled all over them. <laughs> Big, hairy, soft monster. Monster? I don't see any monsters. They're everywhere, please, use your flashlight, uh, get us out of here. Hannah bravely led the way out of the house with the craft before. And door the beam, the door the beam, let's get the creatures at bay. Mmm, tasty. Ah, I'll use the spice of food. Give me some now. I like mine. Fresh, right out of the box. Eat, eat, eat your ears. Eating in all the tails. Save the candy. Hold it for one dessert. Protected by Hannah and her flashlight, the big kids ran howling out the front door, leaving all their trick or treat candy behind. <laughs> Ain't that deliciously tasty candy? Hannah lingered in the doorway for a moment with her new Halloween friends. Well, they said to teach them. And how? And the victory belongs to candy. Hannah thanked them by one by one. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye. She ran out of the door to the pumpkin air with the bright Halloween. The kids promised to make up the bee maker when you delivered her home the extra eight o'clock. Her jacket was overflowing with Halloween flavors, the best trick or treat ever. <laughs> Lovely story. Later that night, tucked and snugged in her bed, Hannah thought that the spooky things were drifting on the soup she couldn't wait till next Halloween when it could see the ghosts and monsters and scary grand scary godmother again. Maybe tonight, if you like me, she would have really scary dreams. The end. And that is the first story of Scary Mom Mother. I will read the next point to you. Now then, I didn't sleep well at all, if you could tell. But then again, it's the first night when I get in the vision. I'm glad to be doing good here. I've been doing fine. Mm -mm. However, I wouldn't mind have a furry little critter. A furry little critter of my own. I wouldn't mind it. But you know how it is. I'm no longer a pet. I'm just a, a little fish. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed my story. Have a good day. And be careful the monsters in the closet. Ooh.